I'm Leslie Jones McLeod, and I'm broadcasting from my parents' backyard here in Gary, Indiana on Election Day. And I'm here with Shiree! Did you vote today, Shiree? Yes or no? Yes. You, who did you vote for, Shiree? Miss Vicky Watson. Miss, okay, who, what president did you vote for? <laughs> who did you vote for? Miss Wishy Washy. Miss Wishy Washy. You he heard it here. Okay, what president would you like to vote for? Uh, Barack Obama. Barack Obama, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Shiree. Go tell your brother to come out here and Kaya. As you see, it doesn't matter where you are broadcasting, the results are the same. Everyone wants Barack Obama to be president of the United States of America. Barack Obama! However, today was not all fun and games. And uh, you guys can see the rest for yourself. Hi, Granny. For the record, could you please state your name? Oh, my name is Jessie Sneed. Jessie May Sneed. I don't put no May in my oh. name. And you are 80? 87. I'll be 87 in December. I'm 86 now. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Granny, you don't look eight that That's old. That's how I miss. I win money at the chicken place the other day. Did you? Yeah, the oldest woman. Oh, they're jumping up there to my neighbors. Granny, you just incident. don't look that old. I don't know how I look, but I don't feel like I'm that old either. Oh, but wow. look at how other people is. I'm, I'm blessed. Yes, Granny. And you're going to vote today. Oh, yes, I am. For did, Obama. Did you ever think you see this day, Granny? No. It's a wonderful day. Okay, let's go. And Lord been giving us some wonderful days to be out there voting. Yes, he has. That's nice, too. Okay. Uh -uh, Granny. We're voting. It's Granny. Day three. And hardly a line at all. Uh, oh, I can't repeat it. I don't need to say, say my name. You can say your name, yeah. If you want. Okay, my name is Harold E. West. I'm a citizen of Gary, Indiana, and we have been waiting for over 200 years for this opportunity. <laughs> and you're... And hey, I, who'd you vote for? <laughs> Barack Obama. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what's your address? I, what's your name? Jesse. J-E-S-S-I-E-M-O-S-N-E-E. Not, no. Last name. S-N-E-E-D. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. You're supposed to be able to register to vote. He told me I hadn't registered and uh, uh, he didn't let me register. He didn't even give me no papers. That's illegal. They, they gave Cheryl Hollis, but they said they couldn't find me, so he didn't let me. That's illegal. You're going to vote because you haven't voted in the last two elections. They punched your name. However, you will you can do a provisional ballot. The only thing is you have to go to Crown Point within 10 days. Can somebody, you have anybody to take you to? Crown Point? I went to take my grandmother to vote at her local polling place. When we got there, she found her name was not on the roll. She said that she was eligible to vote. However, she did not vote in the primary, they said, so she could not vote in today's election. We were sad. But there were very kind lawyers on hand to watch all of the election day and polling processes and they had my grandmother sign an affidavit and she was able to cast a provisional ballot. So we're very grateful to the lawyers who were trained by Obama for America and who were there voluntarily through um, a, another group, I, I can't recall their name right now. And um, it, everyone was happy. Grandma was happy, they were happy, I was happy. 